Hi. So today I'm going to talk about the truth behind the you know four CR or five CR salary in quant finance. Uh, some of you have asked me this question in the comment section. Uh, some of you have asked this question directly over the email. Many people are interested to learn quant finance just because somebody told them that you know it's a highly lucrative uh, career option where you make four CR salary. You could also make uh, more than that uh, by being in 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 uh, in India and you you make tons of money you save a lot of money you could even retire in few years time right um <coughs> so what is the truth behind it right is that true for shield side is an insanely great salary anywhere on the planet let alone in india right that's almost half a million right who makes half a million right but there's people obviously makes half a million but they make in let's say in california in london but making happy million in Mumbai or Bangalore is it's insane, right? Um, so what's the truth behind it, right? Do people make that kind of money in, in India? Um, well, maybe true, okay? Um, you know, uh, but but it, it looks like, you know, the best salary wouldn't be um, for share. It's probably much, much less than that. It's the incentives and everything added together. It's probably would be for share in good years. Um, if there is uh, a bad year, bad macroeconomic year, profits are, you know, mediocre, then you probably won't, uh, in most likely situation, you will not get that kind of salary and it varies a lot. Um, salaries in trading firms um, could vary a lot uh, depending on how good is the year for you, for the firm, you know, salary could differ a lot. Right. And how many of these jobs offer, uh, you know, four share, five share salary? Um, probably very, 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 very less number of jobs. Um, some of the jobs probably are based out of uh, outside of India. Right. Uh, people may not be telling you, but, you know, people who get these offers, they go abroad and work. And 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 my advice for any aspiring quant is that, um, you know go beyond these hypes and and you know this things which are good for clickbait to get views on youtube but actually there may not be much truth into it okay maybe some people get but they are ex that's exception not a rule and uh, it is almost impossible for an average guy or even an av above average guy or even a good guy uh, to get uh, salary anywhere close to that right that is uh, almost impossible so you know anybody who is uh, telling you that that's possible if you try hard if you you know do this course if you learn this topic uh, he is is telling lie to you he is lying you uh, don't don't trust about that uh, 4 crore is a very great salary even even in europe okay and I, I know Trading firms paying like 70,000, 80,000 euro starting salary in the good ones, right? Even like, um, you know, trading firms like IMC and Optiver, which are top trading firms, they pay like base salary 70, 80,000, 100,000, um, or probably a bit better, more than that, uh, as a base salary to people working in, in Amsterdam. Um, similar salaries are offered in London also. So how on earth it's possible that you make four crore uh, in Bangalore? I mean, <laughs> sounds a bit fishy, right? right. Uh, there may be some exception, as I said. Uh, maybe somebody is exceptionally talented. And because these firms are very small, they can pay any amount of money to anyone, right? It's not like Google or Microsoft, where if you increase the salary of one engineer, you have to increase the salary of other engineers as well. And you can do that because there are so many of them. And if you increase your salary by that uh, by that much then you know that's pro practically impossible but you know in small forms like trading firms are quite small you you could give that kind of salary some exceptionally talented people but that's again exception not a rule and uh, it's almost impossible for someone um, um, someone who is you know for, for an average or ever even ever average guy to make that kind of salary Okay. Uh, having said that, let me tell you that quant finance is definitely a lucrative area. I mean, you the the, the average salary is quite good um, because it's it's one area where um, you you need to be good with mathematical modeling, 
coding finance risk management you should have writing skills it's difficult to find people who can do all all these things right so quant finance doesn't matter which area whether you work at big banks fintechs insurance companies consulting firms trading firms wealth management firms it's definitely lucrative uh it's a bit technical field uh and as with any technical field the starting salaries are quite good uh but the growth need not be that great always quant finance is maybe bit of an exception i would say the growth growth prospects are good uh, at least for 10 15 years after that you know you probably will saturate or you move to consulting start your own consulting firm become an independent consultant or you move to front office role more business roles many people do that um but uh, you know um coming back to the topic right uh, so do you trust these numbers i think uh, there is no reason to not to trust but at the same time take with a grain of salt you know i wouldn't uh, be motivated uh, to learn something just because it offers four cr salary to uh, someone right it's more like you know winning field medal in mathematics and making a 1 million and you think that by being becoming a mathematician you will make 1 million i mean that's nonsense right how many people win field medal very few right uh how many people win nobel prize very few so to expect that any tom dick and harry can become a quant trader and make four share in india it's, it's plain nonsense right um now how do we approach right what motivates you let, let me tell you some good numbers right just to uh not to demotivate you right because some people get demotivated especially the ones young ones right the 22 23 old guys you know they don't want to work in a job that pays less than 1 crore in india some of them have actually you know it it's like what do you know in order to get one year like just because you have been to a top school doesn't mean that company will be willing to pay you one year you will be surprised to know how many people from iits and iims in india make Uh, do not make you know really good salary in fact the starting salaries for many iit graduates i personally know were pretty average pretty pretty average uh there are exceptions there are some good people maybe computer science and electronics you know these branches maybe some you know high paying jobs are offered to these guys but a lot of the guys i know never made that kind of salary so let me t- in quant finance actually you know starting salary can be above 20 lakhs 30 lakhs even in some cases 40 lakhs base salary i'm talking about on top of that you could get bonus in some cases even 100% bonus in that case you know it it goes up to 60 70 lakhs even um and but but if you get experience right you get a 4 5 years of experience 6 years of experience you could make <clears throat> more than 60 70 even one year many of my uh former colleagues are making one year even one year plus uh in india um in different quant field um right um which is which is quite quite a good salary actually in india uh what you do not know is that the tax rate is very low in india you know it's you pay 30% taxes in india cost of living is extremely low still quite quite low in india you know the rental you can get a good three bedroom apartment by paying 40000 40000 maybe or 40 50000 maybe in, in in bangalore you know how much money you spend in in london to get a one bedroom apartment in canary wharf it could be 2000 pound to be 3000 pound even if you want to go for a two bedroom apartment and small apartment even a studio apartment in some instances can cost you more than 1500 pound uh and if you have a family and you, you obviously cannot live in a one bedroom apartment you go for two bedroom you uh spend hell lot of money there so um yeah so to answer the question no no uh, you know not everybody get that kind of salary so don't be don't worry at all don't even watch those videos which promise you that kind of salary uh these these are for only exceptionally talented guys and and uh, you never know whether they 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 um, are able to survive in that job for long or not 
you'll be surprised to know how many people work in risk management side after working as a trader for a couple of years and they simply could not survive that environment. Many are from IITs, by the way. There are many people from IITs who go on to work as quant trader for a couple of uh, for for some of the trading firms, make money for a couple of years, leave the job, then they start working for consulting, UI, KPMG, or you know big investment banks in in more uh, risk modeling area, <coughs> uh, which is less lucrative, much less lucrative that of quant trading, but uh, there is peace of mind. And uh, you get decent salaries, quite decent salary, and uh, it's it's also a long-term career, much less stress, much more stable, uh, and that doesn't pay you like crore. Let me tell you, you'll be making good money in thirty lakhs, forty lakhs, uh, fifty, sixty, seventy, even, but not more than, that. or maybe one crore in some cases if you become manager, uh, executive director, director in that kind of, uh, or you become a partner. In cons- consulting firm, you will make one year plus salary. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's w- something I wanted to share, not to demotivate you guys, but just uh, um, the reality I want to share with you. Um, you know, some I don't want uh, people to be motivated just because of uh, some clickbait on a YouTube video. And that doesn't serve the purpose, actually. It will only make you disappointed, uh, highly disappointed if you believe in these things, right? And it doesn't matter what you do in life. I think if you become a software engineer, you become a, you become, you do whatever in life. If you are the top most guy, right? You will still may be making a hell lot of money, right? So, but that, doesn't mean that every other guy who is in that field makes that kind of money so yeah i think you should be motivated to do uh quant finance for a simple reason which is that you have interest in finance and you love mathematics and you want to uh, use your mathematics skills your analytical skills to solve problems in the finance of course salary and and monetary compensation is always good in the field of finance no matter what you do in finance and if you can work there for let's say 10 15 20 years that will make you financially independent and then you can do anything in life later on you can become a teacher uh, you can continue working in in finance but also move to other fields uh, many people move to e-commerce you know they do, do startups and all once they become you know financially independent uh, after 35 maybe at the age of 40 right so that should be in the norm not like making crores of money when you're in early 20 and then retiring at the age of 30 with 10 crore in your saving account um then don't do quant finance there then you know start your company right after college you'll make much more than working in quant finance right uh, you'll be disappointed if you go with with wrong expectations that's something I wanted to share with you and uh, be motivated for right reasons, not for wrong reasons. Okay, thanks guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching.